Well, once we've transferred the proteins from the gel to the membrane, we have a choice of either using the Benchpro 4100 Western Processing System to do the rest of the Western, or to get results even sooner, we could use the iBlot Western Detection System. So let's begin by unboxing the iBlot Western Detection Kit. The kit comes with two boxes. Here I have the stacks for performing the Western, and then I have a box containing the reagents. So let's see what we get in the reagent box. So we have a manual, we have a couple of incubation trays, and then we have some um, antibody diluent solution. We have three bottles of these, which you will use not just for diluting the antibody, but also as a blocking solution. We have some uh, wash solutions, a couple bottles of those. And then we have a substrate. This is the chemiluminescent kit, so we get a chemiluminescent substrate. We have two tubes of secondary antibody. We have a antibody diluent additive. And then we have the substrate enhancer. So really everything you need um, to get your Western signal. Now let's see what we get in the box for the iBlot Western Detection Stacks. We have some sponges here. These go into the lid of the iBlot device. We have some matrices, and uh, these are what are used to put your different solutions on, your antibody, your blocking solution, and so on. And um, we have some spacers here. You can use these to actually do multiple blots at the same time, and you would use these to separate them out. So you can use different antibodies and different concentrations on the different blots. And then we have the top and the bottom stacks. Um, I have the regular size stacks here. So these allow you to do uh, one midi-sized uh, blot, or you can do two mini-sized blots, or you can do multiple smaller blots and then use these spacers to separate them out.